afternoon everybody welcome to today's video last week I couldn't record a video because I was kind of sick and I got busy but this week I'm going to be bringing a very good video you know probably from the title that I'm going to be talking about 15 countries which I visited if you haven't been following my channel and you're new I have to tell you that I'm a big traveler I love traveling and I had a chance to go to different countries but I chose the 15 best ones because these 15 are the closest to my heart and I'm just gonna put a picture of the countries that I've visited all in all in this video I'm going to go through the 15 best and of course I'm going to show you guys pictures that I took and I'm going to show you guys why you should go there if you have the chance. I'm gonna go by a list but this list is not my preference list it's just basically I listed the 15 countries and I'm of course I'm gonna give you um, cities with them so you will know where I've been. This is a video that I will probably look back on many times because I'm obsessed with traveling and I just love looking at memories and feel like I'm there again. So let's jump into this video. The first one is the United States of America. If you don't know, I'm from Hungary, which is located in Europe, but I went to the US in uh, 2018 with my family and our friends for the summer and we went through the whole um, east side of America so we went to New York and from New York we went down to Miami by using a rent car the cities that I would like to mention are Miami, uh, Orlando, Washington DC and New York of course we stayed in other cities like Charleston but these are the mains that I would mention and of course if you have the chance go to New York but account for the time zones the different time zones and account for that America is really crowded especially New York Washington DC which is the capital city of the United States of America there we saw the White House we saw the Capitolium and then we went to Orlando to the Disneyland to the Disney World and the Universal Studios that was really awesome and then we stopped our uh, trip in Miami. US is one of the best memories that I have. The second one is Canada. <music> Canada took place the same time we went to the US because when we went to New York, from that we went to, up to Canada, Ontario, to watch the Niagara Falls. I have to tell you guys I'm not really into nature like I prefer cities over forests and stuff like that I mean I'm for the environment but when I go on a trip I prefer to go to cities than the nature but when you arrive at the Niagara Falls Ontario it's beautiful it's basically every color that you can imagine and you just you just stand there and watch the Niagara Falls like you just your it's it's not a planned trip you don't have to plan the trip you just go there and stand and enjoy the view canada ontario niagara falls definitely recommended the next one is the bahamas what you have to know is we took a boat from miami to the bahamas and cuba cuba is going to be the next uh, country that i'm mentioning Basically, we booked a four-day trip on a big boat and we spent, well, two days on a boat, one day in Cuba and one day in the Bahamas. But the Bahamas is a real life feeling. You just go there, the water is blue, it's actually blue and the weather is really hot. The palm trees are around you, like I'm obsessed with palm trees. I, I'm not gonna lie, I love palm trees and I love the feeling of just laying on the beach. But the water is actually blue, crystal blue. The food is amazing, oh my gosh. It was a private 
island for the boat that we took so it was only us the tourists but it was still amazing like the Bahamas either you go within a boat like it's an all-in-all -all trip or you go different just to I don't know the the capital city but Bahamas is definitely a recommended country for you to visit also it, it was a small island so it was like the cutest ever the next one as I was mentioned Cuba Cuba is an interesting country because you might know the history of it. Some parts of Cuba are really developed and other parts are really not. I had the chance to go on a three hour bus tour in Havana which is basically had developing and developed uh, parts. So I had a chance to see the really poverty part and the rich part. So with Cuba I would be really careful and if you have the chance I would recommend you to go within a trip like we did not just go there and like visit there are a lot of documentations you need a different visa like you need a visa for the US if you're from any other countries than the US but for Cuba you need another visa even though you had already a visiting visa to the US so it's really difficult and complicated but as soon as you get the, the the documents right it is settled and it is so much worth it okay let's jump back to Europe Germany Germany was the first trip that I took without my parents to abroad it was really fun it was an exchange student program and I had my lovely exchange student partner Vanessa and uh, I stayed one week with her and she stayed one week with us but it was beautiful. She lives in a little village called, um, what was the name? Steinheim. I don't speak German at all. So it was really fun because they told us that if you can speak English, you can come. But I knew nothing about Germany and I didn't speak German at all. I still don't. So she lived in Steinheim, which was a really beautiful village. It was so small. She lived next to a meadow, which was beautiful. Wake up in the morning, it's like so early, and you just open your window and it's like grass everywhere. I know I mentioned that I prefer city trip over nature, but when it's living, when it's like exploring, I prefer just, you know, the nature and the small village. It was really nice, you know, walking on the street, it was nature everywhere. So I haven't been to Berlin yet, the capital city of Germany but if you go to Germany and you prefer like a nicer calmer environment I suggest you to go to the north of Germany to Steinheim where I stayed there are cities like oh I don't remember the cities next to Stein okay I need to google it I'm just gonna look after the video and put the names of the cities that we visited alongside Steinheim so you will get the idea of where we actually went. After Germany, France. Okay, I have to split France because I've been to Paris at one hand and I've been to the south of France, which is amazing. First, I went to the south of France, which included Monaco, Nizza, Monte Carlo and Monaco are the same, but it was basically a dream. We went through the whole south coast of France and visited all the interesting cities and I have to tell you guys it's amazing because that's basically the rich part of the south of France and you see every like big hotels, you see casinos, of course I was 14 I guess when we went so I couldn't go in but it was still so amazing, you have no idea. And then, of course, I went to Paris, which is the capital city of France. It's a city of love. So I don't think I have to explain you why Paris is the best choice if you want to go to France. The food, the culture, the monuments, the history, everything is so attractive of that city. People are nice if you speak French. But if you speak only English, do not expect French people to treat you nicely because they have this temper that not many people can, you know, identify themselves with. <sighs> Buongiorno, Italy. Italy is the next country. Why Italy? 
I love pasta and pizza. Those two are my favorite food ever. And of course, when I tell you the word Italy, you think about either about Rome or the food. The Italian food is the best. I was in Rimini, which is a small town on the beach. It's literally on the beach. So when we went out of the hotel, it was the beach immediately. It was the best. We also managed to go to Firenze, which is really famous for its um, museums and cathedrals. So it was kind of nice because we could also relax. And on the other hand, we could go and, you know, just explore. So Italy for the food, for the nature again. And of course, just like Rome, other parts of the country has interesting museums or cathedrals to visit. Croatia. Croatia is good because it's close to Hungary and it's relatively cheap. Croatia is a beautiful country. It has many, many beaches that I've loved. But if I had to choose one city, I would choose Makarska, for example. My sister plays handball and she had a chance to go on an international cup to Makarska, which is located on the beach. But the interesting part is as you walk on the beach, on your right, there is the sea. You see nothing else but the sea. But on your left, there is big mountains. If you are a love, lover of nature, you have to go to Makarska because the feeling that you walk and on one, hand, on one hand you have the sea and on the other hand you have the big mountains, it's just amazing. It's like a feeling and I don't know, I love seafood. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite pasta is pasta with seafood and it is known best seafood comes from Italy, France, Croatia, so very, very recommended. <laughs> let's jump out of Europe for a while, but let's not go to America, but go to the East. And in East, I would tell you the United Arab Emirates. And within that, Dubai. One of the best trips that I've ever had. Even though it was always plus 40 degrees, I'm not joking, Dubai is the, the most beautiful city I've ever been to. I don't have to tell you the Burj Khalifa because you're probably familiar with it, but the Palm Jumeirah or beach itself or the Dubai Mall, even the Dubai Mall is an attraction in Dubai. Like it's not just a mall, it has an aquarium within it, it has a skiing place within it. It's just amazing. Yes, people are weird. You have to let men go first. You have to wait until men finish. And then you can come as a woman or a tourist. But, I mean, it's Dubai. The big skyscrapers, the four-star hotels. Like, the hotel itself was a dream. Like, I am obsessed with Dubai and I just can't wait to go back. That's the reason why I study Arabics, by the way. Now we are jumping back to Europe, but not actually the European Union, because the next location is the United Kingdom. Within that, it's London. When I turned 18, I got this present I to go to London. We spent a week there, but come on, London. First of all, the language English. I got used to the American accent because I watch American series, I watch American YouTubers, but not British ones. And when we went there, and the only British accent I've ever known was from Peaky Blinders, which is a British show. But other than that, I wasn't familiar with the British accent. And it was amazing listening to it. Like, I loved it. Of course, the city's population is basically equals to my country's population. So it was kind of weird walking and like people are everywhere. The Big Ben, the Shard, the, basically the parliament was interesting for me. We also went to see Stonehenge and it's just such an, an again, a historical city that you have to watch before you die. You have to see before you die. 
And now we are going to stay in Europe for the rest of the video because we are going to Greece. Well, 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 Greece. Greece is definitely a summer vacation because even though we went to Athens, it was so hot that we only watched like the historical parts. So we watched the Acropolis and other historical parts but we went to Zakynthos, which is a little island in Greece and it's so beautiful. Again, the water is like crystal blue and it's just, again, it's the same feeling like in the Bahamas, laying on the beach and doing nothing. The water is amazing, the weather is amazing, the food is amazing, the cocktails were the best. I was 19 when we went to Greece, so I could get alcoholic beverage I bought once an alcoholic beverage called Zombie, but it was so much vodka in it that I couldn't drink it, so I gave it to some other people. But it's really nice, it's beautiful, highly recommended during the summer. The next one, we only spent a day there because when we went to US, we were flying with Lot, which is an airline, but Lot is Portuguese, so we went to Portugal for one day to Lisbon. We stayed, we arrived in the night, we slept, we had one day to visit and then and on that day, the evening, we flew to New York. But still, I mean, Lisbon is probably the most known city in Portugal other than Porto and other be like near beach cities. It's nice to visit. I wouldn't recommend it in the summer because it's really hot. In the summertime, I don't really like going on city trips because it's so hot and I can't spend, you know, like hours on the sun with no water. But if you have the chance to go in, I don't know, spring or autumn, highly recommend it because Lisbon is beautiful. The one before the last one is Austria. Austria is really close to us, it's like the neighbor. But why Austria? Because if you have time in Christmas, get your bags and your car and go to Austria for the Christmas market. The Christmas market is one of the best things to do in Christmas because there's a lot of food and different Christmas decorations. If, especially if you are religious, I would highly recommend to go because the last time I went with my boyfriend, basically 90% was food really good food and the other 10% were religious Christmas stuffs you know like Jesus, Mother Teresa and stuff like that but still the feeling that it's cold you're drinking your tea the tea is really good and they give the cup for free it's really nice to go and like enjoy it it's like a one day trip but still and if you have if you have other plans you can go, of course, and visit, for example, the Castle of Sisi or any other part. And the last one is the Czech Republic and Prague. Oh, I didn't mention that uh, Austria was in VM. Yeah. So Prague is basically, again, because I played handball, we had a chance to go on an international cup there. But we had the time to visit. Again, Prague is a city to visit in either autumn or spring. If it's really hot, you should go to Greece or France or Italy, Croatia, but do not go to Prague because there's a lot to cover within, I don't know, a week. And if it's really hot, you will get sweaty. But some places that I visited, the bridges, basically the structure of Prague looks similar like Budapest, like there is a, there is a river and then there are different parts of the river and then different bridges but what you have to try is the beer I don't like beer but if you like beer of course you have to try the Czech beer because it's amazing and this type of ice cream that they give in a chimney I know it's widespread in Hungary now but when I was in Prague I think I was 16 so it was five years ago I tried that because Back that in Hungary, it wasn't really widespread, you know. 
it was so amazing I loved it but it's basically Czech so you have to try it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did I hope I covered most of the places where I've been and I found interesting I hope you will find them interesting too because I love traveling and these places woo, I just love them I'm gonna see you guys in my next video hope you have a nice day and a nice week bye bye